Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to customize your character's colors or your character's clothing um, with Python and the BGE. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a couple of colors listed on the side, and when we scroll our mouse over them, it's going to change the color of this cube in the middle. But what's going to happen is when we click on one of those colors, it's going to save to a text file. And then when we load up another file that we're going to call main menu, it'll load those colors onto that cube that we're going to add. Alright, I'm just getting started. So to start off, what I'm going to do first is do file and save, and let's save this Blender file to a um, folder called custom character info, and I'm going to call it main menu like this, and I'm going to hit save, or save like that. Now open up the folder that you have that saved in, and do right click new and text documents. I'm going to call this player info like this, and what we're going to do is we are going to um, rename this as well we're going to I'm pretty much gonna make the default color of our player red so I'm gonna do one zero and zero like this and so essentially since we're going red green blue we're gonna do red is first green is second blue is third so this is the default coloring for red so I'm going to do file and save like this like so and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back into my blender file and I'm gonna go um, right click on this camera hit X delete and right click on the slight hit X delete Hit 7 to go in the top view and do spacebar and then add a plane like this. I'm going to drag this plane out and drag this plane up. I'm going to rename this plane as red like this. And then what I'm going to do is add a material to this plane that will be red like so. I'm going to hit shift and D to drag it down. I'm going to drag one down here. I'm going to minus the material on this and rename this material as green like this. And I'm going to add a new material to this that will be green like this. Make both of these an actor, like so. So select Blender Game and make them an actor. So you should see we've got our two panels like this. Okay, now that we have this, let's go into our game logic view. And what I'm going to do is right click on this main cube and add an always sensor, like so. And add a Python controller, like this. And what we're going to do is add two different mouse sensors like so. This first one we're going to rename as mouse over, change it from left button to mouse over any. And what I'm going to do is I'll actually put a property icon like this. This is what we're looking for. So I'll add a property icon to each of these objects. And I'll right click back on our player now, minimize this, and click tap right here and let's put click like this for the second sensor and keep it at left button. Alright, let's um, put these right here, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to do templates, Python, and game logic simple. Delete the portion I've highlighted. And hit control and scroll up to make our text larger and rename these as scripts.py. And add this right here. Okay, now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to make the mouse visible, so let's do bg.render.show mouse and then 1. So if we hit P, we should be able to see the mouse like this. And what we're going to do is define our red and our um, green objects. So red is going to equal scene.objects red. And then green is going to equal scene.objects green. Let's then define our two sensors, so mouse over is going to be equal controller.sensors um, sensors mouse over and then click is going to be equal controller.sensors click like this and what we're going to do is I'll actually right click on our cube really quick I'm going to click on the materials tab as we can see right here it's 800 across the board or 0.8 across the board so what we're going to do is have this underneath this what we're going to do is have, well, hold on, we're going to have if the mouse is over an object, so if mouse over dot positive, what we're going to do is have if, um, we're actually going to apply a variable name called targets to be whatever object the mouse is hitting, so mouse over dot hit objects, so if targets is equal to red, we're going to have own dot color is going to equal one comma uh, 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 
true like this. So if we hit P now, and I hover over this, oh, there's actually an error really quick. Oh, scene is not defined. Define the scene at the top, sorry. So we should see now if I hover over red, oh, it's still not doing anything. Um, two args should be four. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe this. Okay, there we go. Sorry, yeah, I was making a mistake. I was confusing that for a second. So this is what you want right here. You want it to look like this. So what we want to do now is have if the target is equal to green. Sorry for the delay right there. We want to have own dot color is going to be equal zero comma one comma zero comma true like this. And what we want to do is have if our mouse is not over anything, we're going to have own dot color is going to be equal zero point eight comma zero point eight comma zero point eight comma true. So that's, it's just going to go back to the default colors. So if we hit P, we're not hovering over anything. Green, nothing. Red, nothing. Green, nothing. Red, nothing. Okay. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is underneath this, we're going to have um, an if click that positive. Well, actually, we need to be able to write a script that will get um, our, our file that we've saved inside of our, um, our, inside of our player info right here. So we need to be able to access this variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to call, or we're going to write another function. So what I'm going to do is define the save function like this, and I'll just print save for now, and define the load function. Load like this. Or, um, define load, print load. OK. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do from BGE imports logic because we need to access the other file. And then we're going to do logic, or then we're going to have path is going to be called logic dot expand path like this. Okay. Now that we got this, what we're going to do is we're going to have print save. So right here underneath this, we're going to have file is going to be called open path plus player info dot txt since that's the name of the file that's inside of our folder and we want to actually write information to it so let's put w like this we're then going to have um, info is going to equal and actually we haven't done this yet so I'll just actually put a variable called um, um yeah how about this I'll put r g and then b for red green blue and what we're going to do is have info is going to equal r plus. Then we're going to have a new symbol sign like this, plus g. Then put a new symbol sign like this, plus, and then b. And I know this may seem weird, but what this is saying is that we're going to um, we're going to save the variable r. Then the, then we're going to go to the next line, save the variable g, go to the next line, and save the variable b. Okay. Then we're going to have file .write info okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to define our click uh, inside of our so what we're gonna do first is I'll start off with the green we're going to have if click dot positive we're going to have save and then we're gonna put these three zero one and then zero okay um, and actually what I'm going to do now is I'll actually make this a string all the way around just so we can save it there and so we're going to save those three variables like this. So what we should see is if I were to hit um, play right here and click on the green and click, uh, it'll say there's an error. Unsupported type on line 10. Line 10. All right, I guess I'll just put string all the way around these str. str so I've never actually done it like this before so that's why it's kind of confusing me that's alright though str so I'll hit file now and click and we've now saved it right here 
But if we go back into our file, what we should see is player info. There's going to be 0, 1, 0 because we've saved those three different numbers. Okay, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the red really quick. So we've saved the green, but now we want to save the red. So let's do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go back up here. So let's go back underneath our red. And let's have if click dot positive dot positive. We're going to do save and then one comma zero comma zero. Okay. Now that we have this, we should see if I click on the red like so, and I go back inside this folder, we should see one comma zero comma zero is now the information that's inside of our notepad documents. All right, guys. So this is part one. This is how to save the colors of the players of the save the save the colors of the well save the colors that you've selected with Python and the BGE. Um, I hope you guys find this very useful, and thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good day. I'll continue with part two right now.